Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, in which we are playing as the Marrow Drinkers. It's been a very long time since I played as them and Big Mama Mesmeralda. Um, she's got a cult of personality, we'll talk about her in a little bit, but once a viper. The oldest memories we have are foggy, but they are still there. Well now the memory's foggy, I'm fairly sure that at one point I was a member of the Vipers, a group of criminals from down south. I don't remember a lot from my time there, not even the name I used to use. What lessons, if any, did I take from my time there? Never give in. Wealth is power. Uh, keep your friends close. Uh, you don't get more stability. Let's get some more war support. Never give in. What do we have left after everything else was taken? But with her. In the past, there was a vi viper stalking the waste with a gang looking for slaves to pick up and sell off back down south. She was well armed with tech from the old world, such as mesmetrons and slave collars, used in order to keep the slaves in line. One day, after a successful slave revolt, that certain viper found themselves victim to their own tools. That day was the last day that Mesmeralda could remember. Now, believing herself to be the villain from an old hubris comic strip, having used her tools to bring down the marrow drinkers under her heel, she now helps to use her mind control magic and enchanted artifacts in order to bring about the rise of the Gorgonic Kingdom, as was foretold in the legends. The Void. Eventually what I am fairly sure led me here, and what led me eventually to discovering the truth, was a job I took up while playing the role of this viper. I brought tools and equipment up north, yet one day these same slaves broke out of their chains and used the tools on me. I don't remember their faces, but I still have some scars from when they beat me. Scars on the face. Scars on the body. Uh, scars on the body, that's pretty bad. 10 army XP. For the political power, that's not terrible. We are rulers. Um, I would probably go with the person in the community. Uh, I do want some army XP though. Yeah, we're going to need that pretty darn quickly. You know what? As much as I want more war support, let's go with Scars in the Mind. And anything unique here? No, it's pretty normal. Anything unique? No. Chief of the Army, Town Defender. We're going to need it against a Troll Warren, which I'm sure will want to come and just eat us up. Um, so we'll probably go with Military Theorist for this one. Until I found the truth. The Tome, is it really talking about me? And with that, we can close out of this one. We've got several options. We're using Old World Blues, Old Blues Radio, Old World Blues Tech Expansion, or and Generic Decisions Revamped. That's pretty much the normal ones we use. Uh, we could also increase our political power and improve country management, uh, which is really nice. So, The truth. After my false life was taken from me, that is when I discovered what the world had been hiding from me all this time. Uh, my true place in the world. Weak and weary, I found it after collapsing in the wreckage of an old building, Hubris Comics Grognak the Barbarian, in battle the Queen of the Gorgons. For some reason, reading this old tomb gave me more meaning in my life than anything else I'd ever experienced. I knew that this had to be a sign my purpose in the world. Me, and this ancient queen, this Mesmeralda, we had to be one and the same. After this, I went about convincing the Marrow Drinkers of this truth. What did the Marrow Drinkers give me when they learned of my excellence? Gifts of metal. Lore. Gifts of war. Well, let's take a look-see. So, we need guns. And we could use a manpower. Do we need scrap? Mm, I think we'll be okay on scrap. How about gifts of war? Something different, because I know we'd need good war soon. Rise of the Gorgons. The Oregon Trails. At least these are not 60-day focuses. Gifts for our future subjects. I wouldn't mind going to war quickly, maybe? Rise of the Gorgons? These people don't believe me? I will force their eyes open. Also, we do have 11 divisions, and they're all infantry now. I did convert some of the militia to become infantry. Um, I would like some light machine guns, though, just in case. So, and we have only three research slots, and we're actually tech levels are god awful. Like they are some literally the worst you can have. Madrix of the sorcerers, alchemical, alchemical enthrallment, mesmerizing, mesmerizing relics. Schemes against the trolls. First, the leader of the great troll army will not acknowledge my divine right. Worse yet, if I don't act soon, they'll surely attack one of my kingdom five stems. The Red Breakers clan of the north. If they were to ensure Red Breakers loyalty together, we might be able to slay these trolls before they become a threat. Hmm. And if I want to do any of these, it, it would be ahead of time, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's not ideal. Very, very much not ideal. Oh, we want these guys to. Let's see, what do we got here? Gifts for us to future subjects. Uh, let's do this one uh, first. Well, the Red Breaker are a rich clan, yet only for the elite. While the oldest clanmen ride about in metal machines of war, their new blood's only the most basic of cudgels. If they're going to be a good vassal and wipe, uh, help me wipe out the trolls, I best send them some enchanted blades and relics from the armory. And send them heroes of the vulnerable north. After I, using my sorceries, to reminded a few Star Wars heroes of their forgotten past, they become rather eager to aid me in ensuring the loyalty of the Red Breakers. It is prudent I help them achieve their dreams. Absolutely. 
And now we have enough political power to do what? Get more stability and whatnot. Expand army training, absolutely. Oh, we're gonna do that one too. Plan building labs. We're gonna wait for that stuff and grab the golden gecko. That's right, command. Attack would be nice. I think I do want more attack. Fine, operative one will choose you. Chaos and Evolve territories, very nice. Warmonger, that wouldn't be bad. Faith Blanchman, it seems pretty good. Honest Speaker, uh, of course, I'm gonna go with person in the community. Any improvement for you? You're young, you got level one. Inspirational. And you're gonna have to go with a melee hacker. For now. Actually, can we upgrade you further, maybe? Smooth talk for sure. Arms workshops, that's good. We got here. Let's go two and we'll go to five. For now, since that's all we can really do. Unfortunately. Improve. Uh, that's not terrible. Even more stability? Uh, we can't do that one, which sucks. Even more stability for now. Secret language is good. Mesmeralda. Big mama. But then match the scheme. I've done all I can, and the trolls grow ever stronger by the day. It is time to send the signal and see if the Rebrickers will honor their loyalty to my divine right. Those filthy trolls won't know what hit him when I am done. But we also have natural spirit, relics of control. Ms. Marauder possesses several unique relics of the old world from her old days with the Vipers. Slave collars, mesmetrons, and other nefarious enchanted relics. Using these, she can control those who live under her heel with much greater effectiveness than her peers. Oh no. We'll send an envoy to the north and give the Breakers a simple offer. Allow us to fight for their independence in exchange for a pact of service, where we made not only troll warrant, but them as well. As you can see, uh, things are not going very well for them now. Oregon Trails, that gives us political power. I guess it should. Yeah. Um, anything pressing that we need here immediately? Uh, get some civvy workshops. I assume these are arms. Yeah, that's not bad. Interesting you don't get another research slot. Mesmerize the cave trolls. Question of cannibalism. Back away from the blood feasts. Remove widespread cannibalism. Or the blood cult. Corpse Sea Culinary. The Finger Fillet. Boot Biting. Mind Munchies. Rivers of Blood. Grabbing Takeout. Meet with the Red Flag Slavers. Leftovers of the Raiders. Friends in High Places. Or Cutting Out the Red Meat. It's funny seeing how this has changed since I first played as them. Every man a star. Reach out to the holdouts. Request assistance from the timber line. Permanent 25% reduction in coring costs. That is definitely the way you want to go. Ah, oh, good old reference manual. So that's all stuff done. Done. Let's see if we can actually upgrade our tech eventually. We don't need to see these about these science points. We don't mind doing this one eventually, though. But we're going to need more money for that. So what do we want here? West Side Economy. Economic Advisors. Go and grab this one. It improves opinion, which is nice. Makes things cheaper for us if we need to buy more guns, which I'm sure we will eventually. They accept. It looks like they aren't as dumb as they look. Together we can put these trolls under a heel properly. Great, let's swap out the trolls together. Hey, that's fantastic. Magics of Sorceress. Oh, the Sorceress. How can these people think that I'm insane? Look at the magic I'm capable of performing. All they need is a demonstration, that is all. Could we actually go to war and do well against these guys? I don't think so. I mean, our infantry is pretty bad. Um, but they only have a few divisions here and there. Oh, wait. I declared war on the wrong group. There we go. Can you guys actually win here? You know, you might just be able to. I want to take out the trolls before they become a huge problem. Can we all go in? Capture. Okay, we got them! Because I know the Warren can be very, very difficult. Beautiful. Okay, so that's going to make the game a little easier. Fantastic. I love it. Security Chief Ma M Meyer selected in Vault City. 
All right then. Okay, the campaign's done. Okay, well, I'll catch you later. <laughs> no, we're not done yet. Carcass wastes. Um, they've only militia. Looks like that really sucks for them. And honestly, we could stop. Okay, we won. All right then. I knew they were going to be a problem, but god dang. That was really nice. Cult of Doras. We didn't need them at all. Doras. Doras. Your neck is free. All right. Timberline Bone Dancers, they're all going to come for us next, probably. Eventually, we've got to kill off the Mirelurk tribes, too. Well, enchanted colors. Sometimes it isn't necessary that I kill those who won't listen to me. Usually bringing them to just the edge of life between between life and death is enough to ensure loyalty. That's why I call them my enchanted colors. Uh, a marvelous little toy. After placing one around the neck with the use of my magic wand, I can explode their heads at will. None will dare oppose me if I doing so means instantaneous death. Fantastic. Uh, we have a, our mango tangelo flavored water here. Quite tasty. Um, kind mercenary. I like frontline operatives, outsiders, auxiliaries, um, alchemical enthrallment. I think some of my advisors are a little too doubtful of my magic. Oh, I know I will force them into servitude with one of my favorite little techniques the potion of servitude. Crushed mentats and wide wendigo or dried wendigo tongue. Distilled within a vial of a uh, gamma gulp is enough to create a dose. After all, half a dozen of these are taken, the average fool becomes an alchemical thrall, unable to function without more and more potions. I love drugs. Actually, if we move fast enough here, too, we should be okay. How long will it take? 240 days? That's quite a few days. But I remember playing these guys, and they have no manpower, and the divisions aren't very good. They have manpower, but they don't have enough divisions. We'll see. We'll continue to prove ourselves as well. So... We could settle other people down already. Then build new labs. Radicalism. We already have enough stability. We can even raise it higher too, eventually. We can close out of that one. We can get a scavenging program. Ooh, the troll warrant wasn't a. No, the warrant isn't a trade note, unfortunately. Mesmerizing relics. Or mesmerizing relics, yeah. The greatest of my magics is the Mesmetron, the tool that I taught that taught me of my forgotten legacy as a Gorgon Queen. With this, I can teach you others of past they've forgotten and finally end this nightmarish fantasy everyone's built for themselves. Ah, I love these colors. They work so well. Boop, 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 and boop. We need some more support equipment. Or special forces equipment. Boop. Boom. There you go. Uh huh. Not bad. Conscripts, fuel boy. Eh. Ah, they actually threw on some support companies here, didn't they? Interesting. Um. Yeah, no, don't do. Kill or kill. Oh, expand army training. We don't care about drastic measures. Very nice. Mesmerized cave trolls. Well, I'm sure these trolls thought I would slaughter them secretly, or entirely. That is not their fate. I don't wish to be a murderer. I am merely a teacher, teaching those of the ways of the world they've forgotten. They will see all as I see. If they are subjects of the male drinkers, they are instantly integrated. Mesmerized uses her mystical mind control sorceries to forcibly brainwash troll warrants commanders into following her. Wait, so do we get them as a core? Mesmetron, field equipment, do we get? Let's save real quick. Because if they're a subject. If not, whatever. It's weird. Because he needs good. Yeah. If their subjects are the marrow drinkers, and their subjects of the troll, uh, carcass walkers, I guess cores all states also core by the troll warrant and carcass walkers. That's what it says. I mean, we'll get cores on them anyways. 10% chance of cranial expansion. Mesmerada's influence spreads through all of conquered states in Oregon, renaming them to suit their vision. Nice. 
can only do that too. More stability. We need a stable realm. Alright, so do the heads explode or mastery over mutants? A lot of political power. The matter of our great new subject. Oh, look at that. Coral riches. Breaking the coast. Mastery over mutants. You get Superman auxiliaries. Oh, we get this for the bone dancers, anyways. Gecko support. Well, these mutants, as the trolls once called themselves, are a strange race, bulky, lumbering, and fertile. Do I hear that? It's the sounds of people just waiting to be reminded of the roles of slave race underneath us. What do I do with all this political power? Industrial support. Oh, thank you, stonks. We need to get another research slot, too. It's pretty rough. We need to improve our research capabilities, though. Enough now. Um, laboring giants. Hey, good. Uh, it's out of town. That's nice. Uh, I'm going Dylan, anyways. Um, I guess question of cannibalism. For decades, cannibalism has been a big problem among the tribes of Oregon. It's our choice we whether we attempt to move away from this practice or embrace it. Blessing Crater Lake. Crater Lake is a font of magic if we have one ever existed. It glows with screen energy. The mutants use this pool to create more of their kind, dipping unlucky souls within it. I need to control this magic. Necromancers of the Wastes. Uh, oh. oh. To the east lies a, group dark, a dark group known as the Bone Dancers. If I know anything, it's that you can never sate a necromancer's taste for blood. We need to subjugate these people, subjugate them, if we want to fulfill our destiny. And laboring giants. The behemoths are perhaps the most marvelous of the trolls. While their weak minds make them rather resistant to our sorceries, with enough coaxing from their smaller handlers, they can be controlled fairly well. Let's put them to use. And I'm actually going to improve our infantry first this time. Yeah, that's pretty uh, How many more days do we have? Because I'd rather just go and blitz in. Uh, let's go and do this one anyways. We can move faster that way. Slightly faster. Nice. NCR is victorious in Nevado. That's fine. Whatever. We're going to optimize our training because we could use more money. Um, set of manual scavengers, I suppose. We have the political power for it. Go over there, town. We would like to integrate them eventually. So we got plenty of political power here, though. That's our battalions are nice. Military high command. Attack, defense, damage garrisons. You know what? Mm. It gives us more army speed to work with. Why not? Keep the navy. Doesn't matter. Keep the air force flyboy. Doesn't matter. Ash Eater Sulik. Very good. Working is done. Which is nice. Keep working on that. Uh huh. Petrochico. Alright, so we got another one here who's not very good. Oh, Beatrice is here. Tur tree bur turner. Blah, 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 blah. Tree burner. Pollux not great. Pitman. Um, Beatrice, you're pretty good on attack. Let's go with you. Woodworking. Nice. Uh, we might get more civilized stuff later on. We'll see. I wouldn't mind maybe taking here first. We'll see. Let's see how much we can actually do in Oregon here. We only have a thousand money. Didn't need that. We don't need money. Right? Right. Okay. So we do this. We go to war with them anyways. Can you go here? That is my biggest question. You know what? Send you both here. Send two of your divisions here as well. These guys should have a decent amount of breakthrough, hopefully. Queen's Guard. I gotta make you a little thicker now. for technology? Sure. Even reducing their division count by one will help out. Beautiful. I love how they're attacking anyways. Very nice. 
Oh, hello. Why are you, are you attacking me? Oh, no. And they go bye-bye. Good. Um, are they going to move out? Are they at war with someone else? It just is us up to... They have quite a few divisions. I don't know where they're at, which I don't like. Let's say they have up to 12. Not ideal. I'll tell you all to do like half. You guys go here, here, here. Uh, go to here. I want you guys go here to there, maybe. See what you can do. You might, you're might. you probably going to encounter more divisions anyways. But uh, this would help, just in case. Go all the way up to here, maybe. There you go. That's an instrument. I like that. Bone dance. Oh, I see. Scavenger found something. Oh, Lockroot Schematic. That's not bad. Force in the defense. Good choice, probably for them. Interesting. Very nice. Let's go here. Go in like this. Our special forces versus their special forces. Not bad. Laboring Giants. Blessing Crater Lake. Yes. Uh, no. Hey, we got him. Look at that. Umbra's killing itself. Very nice. Where are we on for this? Funded militias already? Wow. That's not good. Cut him off if you can. We got him. Oops. Oh, they took this? Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. You won't kill yourself. Um, how much money do we have? 110 is not terrible. Time. I want to make the special force to make sure they got their anti tank. We'll actually have the followers of Apocalypse join us. That gives them more science points. There you go. Make them bigger. Slightly bigger. Slightly thicker. It's like a multi station. 5 to 11 divisions. Decent amount of manpower like us. Not bad. Get him a base, why not? Get us go on him. Breaking the first. Our control of the trolls is uncertain at best. While our magics have some effect, they're not nearly as effective as they are on humans. If I'm to show the loyalty to these trolls and get to their leader, the first. Perhaps it's time to pay the first a visit in his holding cell, breaking him myself. Mesmerized with much difficulty, he's finally able to break the mind of the troll warren stalwart leader, the first. With the first finally able to see Mesmerod's vision, the rest of the super mutants that we don't have broken yet will start to fall in line. Her influence spreads through all the conquered states in Oregon, from naming them to a super vision. That'd be cool. Sons of Kaga as well. So that's good, we got over here. Um, we're done with that. I guess we go over here next. Mm -hmm. Sure, just in case. Optimize the trading. Exploit them. Nah, we're good. Destruction of Ranger Citadel. Mm. Reservation. Lock read. Well, we definitely want to go to war with them, but then we've got the matter of our new subject. It seems that the cult of Doros may not be as loyal as it once thought. There is rumors of rebellion. I must be sure if they are true or not. Now that we've finished off the students, we can turn our attention to our new subject, the cult of Doros. We need to ensure that our new pet is willing to serve us indefinitely, rather than believing that they can eventually escape or grasp on the Oregon trails. 
And your pioneers used to seek out this land. We are wasting it. The destroyed rebel was once lost. Of course, cannibalism. Uh, I think we'll back away from Blood Feast. Ultimately, the Blood Feasts are something too draining on people. We need to start moving past this practice if we are to ensure survival in the wastes. And cutting out the red meat. The first matter of abandoning cannibalism is finding alternatives to the consumption of meat. We need people to go vegan. Well, I didn't realize it, but apparently uh, we get a war goal against these guys later on. But I figured, you know what? Let's just take them on now. Oh no, whatever will they do? They're forcing the defense, which is probably honestly a smart thing to do overall. Uh, but that's not going to do very much once I've completely surrounded their units. Oh, well, I guess almost. Well, we're working on it. Um, how about you guys go down here? And then you can go here. We're not winning everywhere, but we're winning in enough places where it doesn't matter. Oh, good job, followers. Oregon Trail is very nice. And we read about this earlier, but let's do question of cannibalism. Oh, no. The divisions are dying. They're falling apart at the seams. Whatever will they do? Uh-huh. Beautiful. Lovely. Very nice. Sure. Oh, look at all these divisions. Entrapped. Tra Ooh, we're actually losing the battle, even though they're forcing the defense. Uh, they obviously cannot, you know, have these guys survive, but how will you hit them a little harder? Oh, Tierra. Tiaret, Mama Van Graaf's uses power in Reno. Very good. Oh, would you look at that? And they have two divisions left. Um, can just go here probably. Of course, they are special forces, so it takes a little more of a beating to take them out. And we got them. Absolutely wonderful. It's November. No, no. The Baja joins the MCR. Well, we should probably go to war with the Shoshone too. That wouldn't be bad. Life Giver, Inspirational... Um, sure, how about we become aware? And once we're done with that, what is this? Ms. Murata uses her Mesmetrons to warp the minds of the regional geckos, turning them into mighty lizard men warriors. In the conquered lands of the Bone Dancer Necromancers, my scouts have found a strange thing. A group of geckos. Normally native to the southern deserts, it seems a small group of them migrated up here a few decades ago. What providence? I will use my sorceries and bend them to my will. Creatures useful as this will serve nicely in my kingdom's armies. Once we do the matter of any subject. Just in case. You never know. Tons of political power though. We love it. Could exploit them, but we're not going to exploit them for now. Political power, yes. Um, do we need any more water? Water's not bad. I think we're okay on water. Uh, we could use more anti-tank. Followers influence. Research speed. Eh, sure. Just in some training, that'd be nice. Spread propaganda. Give you some more war support, in all honesty. You know, we'll do that for now. And are we just flying on Shoshone yet? We are, so. It doesn't hurt to get a little more political power, does it? Mm, I'm gonna say nah for now. I'm glad we have the anti tank ready for the Marlux, hopefully. If and when they wanna come fight us. So we need 30 labs. Access to scientific stuff, huh? Well, how much do we have here? Uh, that's close. It's hard to tell. We need less than five caps to improve our next level. Uh, technology. Sure, why not? We'll do that one. Military sending bonuses would be nice, but I want to build more labs. So let's see what happens after this focus is done first. Cultural simulation. Uh, they've revolted. The cult of Doros has betrayed us. They believe they're independent that our deal is supposed to be only temporary. I can't believe this. Oh, no. While compliance would be appreciated, we need to do compliance by force. The nerve. I will teach them obedience. Oh, no. Could you see that one coming? I totally didn't. Should probably get some more... Uh... No, we should probably get a trade node too. That'd probably be smart to do. So we go to Arroyo. We could potentially get that down there. Port Maw. Doesn't the Maw have one? Yeah. Like West Portland or something? That would be bad. I guess we get to get some travel text too. Mm. Wow, the Washington Brothers are still fighting, huh? Arroyo would be nice. Where are the trade nodes? Uh, we don't need this one. This one. So yeah. Arroyo. Was it Eureka or O'Brien? 
I can't see. Oh crap, whatever it is. Is that four ways? That is four ways. Four ways, you know, Reno itself, Vault City would be nice. 80s territory, yeah, West, or, yeah, West Portland. So I guess Arroyo probably would be the best one for us. Four camps are all right. Um, let's grab dynamite. Good. Got an optimizer trading as well. Blinds by horse. Cultists of the Sea. Along the western coral coast sits the Myrlark tribe, a people worshiping the great Myrlark Queen as their god. Huh, to think that I would lost such heresy on the borders of my kingdom. No, they'll be taught their place in this world. The apostles and the Myrlark stuff, so they're really just apostles. Uh, does this have a trade node? Oh, no, we don't. I wish we could, like, customize it. I mean, you see all of these. Trade node, uh, I'd like to have it somewhere else. Cult of Doras. How dare you? Oh, hello. Against the cause, eh? Go in. We're going to suffer quite a few couch keys if we do it like this. But, you might be able to make an encirclement or two. Maybe. If you can move fast enough. Bellicott snaps. Please. Just go up there, it's fine. You could get encircled here, though. That is always the potential for that. Or there is always the potential for it. Um, go here. Go here. There you go. Very nice. You know what? Help them out. Finish them off faster. It's good. Just need one division there. Contact lost. Oh no. Send a rescue team. More war support. We found the expedition. Oh, look at that. I love the lag, don't you? And of course in the defense as well. Look at that. Nice. All right, so they want to do that. That's fine. They can't move then. Which is good. Come on. Come on. There you go. That's the way you do it. Salem it is. I guess we all then to Dodge. City of Dodge. Dodge City. You guys go here. We need you to move in fast. Battle for Hoover Dam. Very nice. Uh, more defensive for now. Fine with me. Ah, I see. And they went back in there. Come on, these three divisions are giving us one hell of a run for our money. But rebellions, rebellions will not be tolerated. Not at all. of the sea. Okay, technology. Uh, oh. Ah, mesmerizing new pets. I'll never make this mistake again. Even those that seem loyal at first glance need to be taught their forgotten past with sorceries if they are not to strike us when it is convenient. Cool. Love it. We're looking pretty wide, pretty large. I love it. Pale folks, huh? So, NCR. You got Baja and the territories down here, Mojave territories. Interesting. Wouldn't mind maybe a more construction speed. Be pretty nice. Ooh, are they fighting someone else now? Where do they go? 130 days. Well. Seriously, not bad. Nah, we'll do it anyways, why not? And now we're slowly falling behind everybody in terms of equipment. Because the technology levels are just so god awful. So we can at least go to every camp of the army, that'd be nice. Put in militias, level leaders, mine go to military academy officers. Uh, there's new pets. 
Uh, Nintaz, Gekko Warriors. Uh, let's throw away anyways. I guess we can go to war with Mylarks, can't we? Yes, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But for the most part, we're taking out everyone that we would really need to take out around us. Build some new labs. Damn equipment's coming along, nice. Give it a couple seconds here. Definitely need more of these two though. Well, let's save and see what happens. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't be good. Maybe we will lose, because we're not uh, super strong everywhere, but we'll see. Uh -huh. Can we pierce our shells? No, we can't. So we need to increase our piercing of Mylark shells. Can't pierce them. We're kind of screwed. We really don't have that much uh, technology for that, huh? Yeah. That's all. Oh boy. Buying amounts is not good either. You still assume the front line. You, on the other hand, are going to push in. Somehow, some way. One division is not going to be enough for this. Yeah. But you'll have a little bit of help here in just a little bit. And do it anyways. Because you can. Acolytes of the Gorgon Queen. The Bone Dancers have a rather strange religion they've built for themselves based on the worship of death itself. I do nasty working my court after a bit of mesmerization. Mesmerization. Took them long enough. Guess we should probably get them. We already have demo teams. No, that's not ideal. Oh, okay, they threw another division in there. Good, 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 good. Continue attacking us. Ah, they're throwing some crabs, eh? That sucks. Forces wouldn't be bad to use either. Oh, now it's jumping butt crabs. Bro. What a crabby patty. Here to here, here, maybe? Potentially? Let's see what happens. God, probably raise the conscription level next. I'll have to wait for the Shoshone then. Mesmerize the Bone Dancers. Now that we've conquered the land of the Bone Dancers, I can see about properly and reminding them of my rightful claim to rule this land, and they will learn. Good. Good. Uh -huh. We're gonna burn a lot. Are they doing okay up here? Hopefully. Uh, we 
keep throwing more crabs down here too. I don't like that. Yeah, you're not gonna win there doing it like this. Hmm. The crabs are just very tough. Them and their shells. Hmm. Everywhere across the front line has at least one crab division, except here. But we can't really push in it there, and finding the hills and mountains really sucks too. We still do maybe go here. Or let them continue wearing themselves out too. It's free army XP and it's helping us out quite a bit. Or just a little bit more. Maybe? And they'll come up here. So now we can slowly start piercing them, which is good. Well, we did push them out, look at that. I still love attacking there, huh? Oh, hello. Oh, what happened up here? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. When do they take these guys out? No, 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 no. If that's the case, I'm going to do some funky stuff then off screen to help balance it out, because that was really stupid. Well, I'm gonna probably do a lot of this off screen and slowly grind away as we, you know, somehow for some reason want to keep attacking us, which is okay with us, really. Um, but new harvest for new outlook. It has been many decades since the marrow drinker have planted a large harvest. We need to plant a bigger harvest in order to avoid starvation. Wildflower cigars. We're making cigars out of the crushed wildflowers. We can not only give our farmers a valuable commodity to replace their bad habits, but also earn a great amount of caps as well. Every man a star. Abandoning cannibalism is more than just stopping the feasts. It means that people will spend their lives practicing the rituals and new need a new faith to believe in. While our practices have made us too vile for even the men of the steam, let alone the Canaanites, to teach us faith, we can instead look towards something else. Within the old libraries, we found reference to an old esoteric religion known as Thelma, or Thelma, one which encourages a belief in one's own will. It's a fitting religion for the waste, no? And first generation without the urge. This first generation in some time that will grow up without the need for human flesh, let's cherish this new generation, teach a legend of the Donner Party. The Downer Party is an old story telling of the dangers of cannibalism. By teaching this to the new bloods, we can prevent them from giving in to the sins of the parents. Reach out to the holdouts. Like with any big societal change, there will be some to resist it. We need to reach out and reconcile these holdouts and request uh, assistance from the Timberline. The Timberline, a group of settlers of the North, uh, if we reach out to them, perhaps they'll be willing to assist in removing away from this practice. Invite southern traders, invite foreign influence. We can't accept people traveling through our lands, they might try to influence the people for the worst. Versus invite southern traders. By inviting traders from the south, we can improve the riches of our people. Battle training. We need to train for battle at all times. That way we'll always be ready. Old Commonwealth Roads. That old road that used to link out with a nation that existed in these lands are pretty well done. Roadside communities. Local merchants are starting to build little trading towns on the sides of the main roads, still in the goods and serving as local community hubs. Backyard scrapyards. Hey, when there's a little bit of scrap in the backyard, let's put it to use. Gamma Gulp Brew. Uh, Gamma Gulp is an old type of brew once brewed in this part of the wasteland. By reason some of their breweries, we can start making more, use, more of this brew. Mm. Yeah. Simple tools. Tool Making tools is pretty hard. Gamma has a hammer, though. Just a rock on a stick. Improvised tools. But you can, using rocks to sharpen tools, they can make them even better. Simple hunting weapons. Clubs make for good beaver bashing. Improved hunting weapons. Maybe now are better. They are sharper, after all. But I think I'll end it there. We've got a lot to do here still, and uh, eventually I guess we'll do coral riches. Turns out that coral is really rather a rare commodity. Sharp, hard, and beautiful all at the same time. Everyone from artisans to weaponsmiths are wanting this rare material. But trading in this, I can bring great wealth to my kingdom, and that's just what I'll do. But I'll end it there for today. We did pretty well overall. Much better than I thought we would. 
If you enjoyed the campaign, though, the campaign, the video, please consider leaving a fat like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. I will continue on with the Marrow Drinkers, even though we're probably not going to be cannibals anymore. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.